Hey there, welcome to the 39th Easy JavaScript tutorial part of easyprogramming.net. Let's build on what we've learned so far about JavaScript objects and create our own custom objects using the new keyword, uh, as well as utilizing this keyword, which I've covered a few tutorials ago. So the syntax of an object constructor, also known as, uh, you can also call it a template. So this is pretty much when you're creating new objects, it will follow whatever template or whatever constructor uh, you set. So let's take a look at this example. I created a an object called person. It's a variable, and it's assigned a function which takes three parameters: param one, param two, and param three. And inside curly braces, this is where we see some of the object notations. Uh, so we'll utilize the word this dot. Uh, it's an internal property. Name one is an internal property. Name two, name three are internal properties. Uh, and we will assign them uh, the values that are passed on to parameter one from whatever argument is being passed on from our script. The this keyword refers to whatever object is affecting or whatever object information is sent to this person object. And I'll show you what I mean later on. So creating and accessing new objects. To create a new object, let's say you want to create a new person object, you want to say variable, you want to call it an item. You, you can call it a, uh, any variable, I'm calling it item one, equals to new. You need the new keyword. Without the new keyword, it will not work. Uh, you'll call the object function. And you'll pass in the required number of arguments. In our case, it's three. And to access, let's say, argument one or parameter one, we would do item one equals to param one. It, sh it should actually be name one, not param one. That's a typo. Let me fix that. Name one. There we go. And fixed. Well, anyway, let's, let's take a look at an example. Uh, and I'm sure it will be clearer as you see this. So I'll declare uh, an object called phone in a variable. Keep it simple like like I did last time. Will be equals to function. Uh, remember that it's, a, it's an object function. Uh, we're going to send in five parameters. We'll do brand, model, OS, color front, and color back for some reason, even though the phones I'm going to be using don't have that. I'm sure there are phones out there that will. We'll do this.brand equals to brand. This.model. Uh, after I type this up, I'll explain what I'm doing. We'll do model, this.os equals to os this dot color equals to and I'm going to create a sub object here we'll do front equals to color f and back equals to color b and then we'll create a, a dummy put a comma there a dummy method that does nothing it's going to be make call function and does something whatever so this is our object constructor. Uh, again, I said you can call it. You can you can see it as a kind of template. Uh, constructor is the is the is the jargon to use here. So what I'm doing here is I'm passing in five variables, five parameters called brand, model, OS, color front, color back, and I'm assigning them to inner properties uh, gone by the same name. Uh, of course, you can call this anything else. You can call this B. That's absolutely valid. Um, so I have the five uh the the five inner parameters uh the other parameters are here i did realize that i made a little mistake when you're doing sub uh objects here you need to separate them with a colon and not an equal sign or assign it with a colon and not an equal sign we'll see how, how that will work so so in our case here uh in order to so this font, you would have to do object.color.front, as we have seen in the last tutorial. So the word this keyword uh, comes into play because when you're sending in arguments from your script and creating a new phone object, the word this keyword tells JavaScript that whatever data is being sent using that object, the new object, is going to be only for that new object, so this.brand. So if you don't have this, you're assigning a, a random variable called brand into brand and that's actually not going to work. And we'll see uh, how that plays out when we're actually accessing the new object. So let's actually create a new object. So I'll call this one var, let's say, x uh, to keep it simple. And then we'll do new phone. Uh, you need the new keyword. We're telling it that we're creating a new object, uh, a new phone object. And we're going to pass in these variables. So we'll call it Samsung S7. Let's say it's Android. The front color is black and the back color is white for some reason. 
So here we have created a new object, new phone object called X. Uh, if I want to, let's say, get the brand of X, I would have to do X dot brand. And let's output that into the console and see what that looks like. Console dot log. So X dot brand. Let's update. Let me open my JavaScript console. And run. There you go, Samsung. If I change this to, uh, let's say, OS, and I run it, I get Android. If I want to access the color, I could do color.front, and I get black, and color.back, I'll get white. There you go. Now this, temp, this object constructor comes in handy because now we can create as many objects as we want using the constructor without having to declare all of this over and over again like we did in the last tutorial. So let's say I want to have a variable called Z. I'm just copying it. Let me call this not Z, let's call it Y. We'll call it Apple iPhone iOS. Let's say it's white in front and back. And now to access this, I'll do console.log. So Y dot uh, brand. Let's concatenate and do y dot model. Clear this. If I update and run, there you go. This white is coming from line 17, and Apple iPhone is coming from line 18, where we're getting the value of brand and y. So now you can do this over and over again. So you can do z a b c. Let's do z and then a and then b. And here we've created five different objects using the same phone object constructor. And the new keyword is telling JavaScript that this is a new phone object. And that this keyword here is telling us that all of the arguments that are being sent into the parameters of this function only affects uh, this object. So if I'm setting in B, it'll only be for this B object. This way there's no collision. So let's say if I don't use the word new, what's gonna happen if I run it? Nothing happens there, but if I try to log it, so console.log will do B, brand. There you go. It says uncaught typer cannot read property brand of undefined. It's because a new object was never created here. Now, if I put the new keyword back in here, let's clear my console, and there you go, Apple iPhone. There you go, Apple in line 22. And the last thing I wanted to cover today in this tutorial is that since the object is a function, you don't necessarily have to put it in a variable. You can actually have a function called phone. So if I change this up to function phone, it's going to serve the exact same purpose as var new equals to phone. This is something that I've covered uh, many tutorials ago where I covered storing functions and variables into, uh, into variables or storing functions into variables. Let's update and run, and, I, and the exact same output happens from these three console logs. So I hope you've learned uh, a little bit about JavaScript objects over the last few tutorials. Uh, there are many things that you can do with JavaScript objects. So objects in JavaScript is uh, the basis of object-oriented programming, when you, where, where you can create your own custom objects into your web pages and display them for your uh, end users. Uh, you can store objects in databases and memory. Uh, so uh, come back for the next 40th tutorial where I'll actually show you how to create your own custom methods. Uh, I won't show you how to do a make call function because uh, to be honest I don't know how I would do that with JavaScript. But there's plenty of things you can do with creating custom methods in JavaScript objects. Uh, well, if you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. I'm always more than happy to help. If you want to see a specific tutorial get covered, please let me know. I'm always happy to oblige. Uh, remember to visit easyprogramming.net for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.